What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel Zaynomics Gaming. Today we are going over Graviton Lance because it did receive a buff with a brand new season, Season of the Deep. And it is feeling absolutely phenomenal inside of PvP is straight slapping people. With that being said, I will definitely be giving my honest opinions as well as reviewing this weapon to its full capabilities inside of PvP and PvP only. Now, PvE, it does perform very well as well, but we do not have really any artifact mods that um, work with our Void subclasses. So maybe we'll save that for a later date, maybe another season when a specific build comes along or something like that. But the main focus for today's video is PVP and it has seen some substantial changes. Now the changes of Graviton Lance pretty much changed the complete identity of this weapon and feel. Now we are gonna start from the top and it states here from Bungie, Graviton Lance's performance feels exotic, but it was easy to miss out on the full damage of a burst because so much of it was backloaded. And we felt the tuning of Revision Zero's heavy rounds two bursts would be a good fit. So they've increased the rounds per minute from 257 to 300 rounds per minute, reduced burst delay by 20%. It now matches Revision Zero Hake heavy rounds rate of fire, rebalanced damage per shot. So what they've done here is increase the first shot damage from body nine and a half to 19 and then crit 15.7 to 31.4, which there will be some rounding there. So it will be 31 on that first shot and then they decrease the second shot damage from body 35.6 to 25.6 and then crit 58.7 to 42.3 now a lot of people were kind of worried about this change but i i think it's a welcome change one you're getting an increase to rounds per minute and then also with these changes from the first shot damage to the second shot damage it makes the weapon more forgiving inside of pvp especially so you're not like oh crap i better hit all my crits because before when you use graviton lance you always had to hit those crits if you did not hit your crits you were going to die you would lose so much damage that second shot damage was so high for this weapon that's what made it feel so good and actually shoot and perform like it should but it was not forgiving whatsoever so with them making these changes this makes this weapon a lot easier to use as well as they have increased the rpm so it does fire a little faster now one thing you will notice while i was actually using this weapon and if you decide to use it as well you will notice that there is a little bit more recoil than before so i definitely suggest you rock and void mods definitely put on the unflinching mods and everything else and also do the void um, targeting mods now for those of you that don't know the time to kill for this weapon at it is actually pretty low it is not um, as high as you'd think it would be but it is very effective due to the range and everything else that it has so basically this weapon comes with hammer forge rifling acrobat rounds and then it also comes with one of the exotic traits cosmology kills with this weapon cause enemy targets to detonate and spawn void projectiles that attract targets that's one of the best things about this weapon just because it allows for that chaining effect when you are damaging opponents from farther away it also has a fitted stock which gives you a plus 20 to recoil and then a minus five to handling now its exotic perk is black hole second shot of a burst rips a hole through space and time doing high damage and recoil with no fall off second shot and burst does high damage now this weapon also has a catalyst as well now in the past the catalyst actually gave you what's called hidden hand which was increased target acquisition but now it actually gives you vorpal weapon which states increased damage against bosses vehicles and guardians with their super active and it also gives you turn about using this weapon to break the shield of a combatant or a guardian using the super will grant you an overshield so obviously that's mainly focused around pve every now and then you may get that inside of um pvp when you kill an opponent that has their super so vorpal and turnabout kind of go hand in hand with each other in that regard now once you masterwork it or complete the catalyst you will receive a plus 20 in range and then a plus 15 in aim assist now the easiest way to actually complete this catalyst is by either the seasonal activities or doing the altar of sorrow you can also go to shiro chi um, i haven't done that in a while though so what we used to do is just tether and then just pop a couple shots off and then the cosmology perk would actually activate and all of those orb spawns would actually kill your opponent so you actually had to get a thousand kills 
and then 500 enemies defeated to unlock the catalyst for this weapon. It's been a very long time since I've completed that, um, but you should be able to get it done with little to no trouble. You just have to dedicate some time to it. Now, it could have changed as far as the requirements go. Of course, we do have the season pass where they give you the bonus for completing the catalyst. So keep that in mind as well. If you don't have a catalyst, I definitely recommend you guys go out and try to get that completed. Now, this weapon has seen plenty of changes throughout the years since it was first introduced. It was one of the most unique weapons alongside of like Sunshot and everything else. Just the noise, the feel of it how beautiful it looks. There's plenty of, I think there's three ornaments for this weapon and um, it's just a phenomenal pulse rifle. That's what it's um, configured as, is a pulse rifle. But man, it, it just really, it, it pops off really well. And even though it doesn't have the TTK like you would think, um, cause it's optimal time to kill is one second. It still just possesses some form of power that's unmatched. Um, I can't really speak on it. It's really just incredible to actually use this weapon and, and see what it actually feels like when you're using this weapon. And with all the recent changes, it has just become very powerful inside of PvP, even though it's really intended as a PvE weapon, given the fact that it has Vorpal Weapon and Turnabout and then the whole cosmology deal. There's so many different builds that you could use with this. It's a shame that they didn't make these changes last season when we have Volatile Round so easily accessible now i do plan on possibly creating a build for this um weapon just because i love the feel of it i love how satisfying it is to get a kill with this weapon so be on the lookout for that you never know we may come out with something but um that's gonna do it for me guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you're new here and you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy this content it's a free way to support me and i greatly appreciate it i will have some more videos coming out in the coming days i know i'm a little behind with season of the deep just because of life and work and everything else and of course playtime um i will be tackling the new dungeon if you are watching this video in real time currently right now i am working on playing in the dungeon so if you guys haven't tackled that yet please let me know in the comments down below what you think of the new dungeon that bungie has released today i hope you all have a wonderful weekend i'll see you guys in the next video